Yahushua in the book of Enoch, chapter 46. And there I saw one who had a head of days, and his head was white like wool. And with him was another being whose countenance had the appearance of a man. And his face was full of graciousness, like one of the holy angels. And I asked the angel who went with me and showed me all the hidden things concerning that son of man, who he was and whence he was and why he went with the head of days. And he answered and said unto me, This is the son of man who hath righteousness, with whom dwelleth righteousness, and who revealed all the treasures of that which is hidden. Because Yahuwah of spirits has chosen him, and whose lot hath the preeminence before Yahuwah of spirits in uprightness forever. And the Son of Man whom thou hast seen shall raise up the kings and the mighty from their seats, and the strong from their thrones, and shall loosen the reins of the strong, and break the teeth of the sinners. And he shall put down the kings from their thrones and kingdoms, because they do not extol and praise him, nor humbly acknowledge which the kingdom was bestowed upon them. And he shall put down the countenance of the strong, and shall fill them with shame. And darkness shall be their dwelling, and worms shall be their bed, and they shall have no hope of rising from their beds, because they do not extol the name of the master of spirits. And these are they who judge the stars of heaven, and raise their hands against the most high, and tread upon the earth and dwell upon it, and all their deeds manifest unrighteousness, and their power rests upon their riches, and their faith is in the gods which they have made with their hands. And they deny the name of the master of spirits, and they persecute the houses of his congregations. And the faithful who hang upon the name of Yahuwah of spirits. Yahushua in the book of Enoch, chapter 47. And in those days shall have ascended the prayer of the righteous and the blood of the righteous from the earth before Yahuwah of spirits. In those days the holy ones who dwell above in the heavens shall unite with one voice and supplicate and pray and praise and give thanks and bless the name of Yahuwah of spirits on behalf of the blood of the righteous which has been shed, and that the prayer of the righteous may not be in vain before Yahuwah of spirits, that judgment may be done unto them, and that they may not have to suffer forever. In those days I saw the head of days when he seated himself upon the throne of his glory, and the books of the living were opened before him. And all his host which is in heaven above and his counsel stood before him. And the hearts of the holy were filled with joy because the number of the righteous had been offered and the prayer of the righteous had been heard and the blood of the righteous been required before Yahuwah of spirits, Lord of spirits. Yehoshua, in the book of Enoch, chapter 48. And in that place I saw the fountain of righteousness, which was inexhaustible, and around it were many fountains of wisdom. And all the thirsty drank of them, and were filled with wisdom, and their dwellings were with the righteous and holy and elect. And at that hour, that Son of Man was named in the presence of Yahuwah 
of spirits, Lord of spirits, and his name before the head of days. Yea, before the sun and the signs were created, before the stars of the heaven were made, his name was named above the Lord of spirits, Yahuwah of spirits. He shall be a staff to the righteous whereon to stay themselves and not fall. And he shall be the light of the Gentiles and the hope of those who are troubled of heart. All who dwell on earth shall fall down and worship before him and will praise and bless and celebrate with song the Lord of spirits, Yahuwah of spirits. And for this reason has he been chosen and hidden before him, before the creation of the world and forevermore. And the wisdom of Yahuwah of spirits has revealed him to the holy and righteous, for he has preserved the lot of the righteous, because they have hated and despised this world of unrighteousness, and have hated all its works and ways in the name of Yahuwah of spirits. For in his name they are saved, and according to his good pleasure hath it been in regard to their life. In these days downcast and countenance shall the kings of the earth have become, and the strong who possess the land because of the works of their hands. For on the day of their anguish and affliction they shall not be able to save themselves. And I will give them over into the hands of mine elect. As straw in the fire, so shall they burn before the face of the holy. As lead in the water shall they sink before the face of the righteous, and no trace of them shall any more be found. And on the day of their affliction there shall be rest on the earth, and before them they shall fall and not rise again. And there shall be no one to take them with his hands and raise them, for they have denied Yahuwah of spirits, Lord of spirits and his anointed. The name of Yahuwah of Spirit be blessed. Yahushua in the book of Enoch, chapter 49. Wisdom is poured out like water, and glory faileth not before him forevermore. For he is mighty in all the secrets of righteousness, and unrighteousness shall disappear as a shadow, and have no continuance, because the elect one standeth before Yahuwah of spirits, and his glory is forever and ever, and he might, his might unto all generations. And in him dwells the spirit of wisdom, and the spirit which gives insight, a spirit of understanding and of might, and the spirit of those who have fallen asleep in righteousness. And he shall judge the secret things, and none shall be able to utter a lying word before him, for he is the elect one before Yahuwah of spirits, according to his good pleasure. Yahushua, in the book of Enoch, Chapter 50, and in those days a change shall take place for the holy and elect, and the light of day shall abide upon them, and glory and honor shall turn to the holy. On the day of affliction on which evil shall have been treasured up against the sinners. And the righteous shall be victorious in the name of Yahuwah of spirits. And he will cause the others to witness this, that they may repent and forego the works of their hands. They shall have no honor through the name 
of Yahuwah of spirits, yet through his name shall they be saved, and Yahuwah of spirits will have compassion on them, for his compassion is great. And he is righteous also in his judgment and in the presence of his glory. Unrighteousness also shall not maintain itself. At his judgment, the unrepentant shall perish before him. And from henceforth I will have no mercy on them, saith Yahuwah of spirits. Yahushua in the book of Enoch, chapter 51. And in those days shall the earth also give back that which has been entrusted to it. And she all also shall give back that which it has received. And hell shall give back that which it owes. For in those days the elect shall arise, and he shall choose the righteous and holy from among them. For the day has drawn nigh that they should be saved. And the elect one shall in those days sit on my throne, and his mouth shall pour forth all the secrets of wisdom and counsel. For you who are spirits hath given them to him, and hath glorified him. And in those days shall the mountains leap like rams, and the hills also shall skip like lambs, satisfied with milk. And the faces of all the angels in heaven shall be lighted up with joy. And the earth shall rejoice, and the righteous shall dwell upon, and the elect shall walk thereon. Yahushua in the book of Enoch, chapter 61. And I saw in those days how long cards were given to those angels, and they took to themselves wings and flew, and they went towards the north. And I asked the angel, saying unto him, Why have those angels taken these cords and gone off? And he said unto me, They have gone to measure. And the angel who went with me said unto me, these shall bring the measures of the righteous and the ropes of the righteous to the righteous, that they may stay themselves on the name of Yahuwah of spirits forever and ever. The elect shall begin to dwell with the elect, and those are the measures which shall be given to faith and which shall strengthen righteousness. And these measures shall reveal all the secrets of the depths of the earth and those who have been destroyed by the desert and those who have been devoured by the beast, and those who have been devoured by the fish of the sea, that they may return and stay themselves on the day of the elect one. For none shall be destroyed before Yahuwah of spirits, and none can be destroyed. And all who dwell above in the heaven receive their command and power and one voice and one light like unto fire. And that one with their first words they blessed and extolled and lorded with wisdom, and they were wise in utterance and in the spirit of life. And Yahuwah of spirits placed the elect one on the throne of glory. And he shall judge all the works of the holy above in the heaven, and in the balance shall their deeds be weighed. And when he shall lift up his countenance to judge their secret ways according to the word of the name, of Yahuwah of spirit, and their path according to the way of the righteous judgment of Yahuwah of spirit, Lord of spirit. Then shall they all with one voice speak and bless and glorify and extol and sanctify the name of Yahuwah of spirit. And he will summon all the hosts of the heavens and all the holy ones above and the host of Yahuwah, the cherubic, seraphim, and orphanim, and all the angels of power, and all the angels of principalities, and the elect one, and the other powers on the earth and over the water. On that day shall raise one voice, and bless, and glorify, and exalt in the spirit of faith, and in the spirit of wisdom, and in the spirit of patience, and in the spirit of mercy, and in the spirit of judgment, and of peace, and in the spirit of goodness, and shall all say with one voice, Blessed is he, 
And may the name of Yahuwah's Spirit be blessed forever and ever. All who sleep not above in heaven shall bless him. All the holy ones who are in heaven shall bless him. And all the elect who dwell in the garden of life. And every spirit of light who is able to bless and glorify and extol and hallow thy blessed name. And all flesh shall beyond measure glorify and bless thy name forever and ever. For great is the mercy of Yahuwah's Spirit that he is long-suffering. And all his works and all that he has created, he has revealed to the righteous and elect. And the name of Yahuwah of Spirits. Yahuwah in the book of Enoch. And thus Yahuwah commanded the kings and the mighty and the exalted and those who dwell on the earth and said, Open your eyes and lift up your horns if you are able to recognize the elect one. And Yahuwah's spirit seated him on the throne of his glory. And the spirit of righteousness was poured out upon him. And the word of his mouth slays all the sinners, and all the unrighteous are destroyed from before his face. And there shall stand up in that day all the kings and the mighty and the exalted and those who hold the earth. And they shall see and recognize how he sits on the throne of his glory. And righteousness is judged before him, and no lying word is spoken before him. Then shall pain come upon them as on a woman in travail. And she has pain in bringing forth. When her child enters the mouth of the wound, and she has pain in bringing forth. And one portion of them shall look on the other, and they shall be terrified. And they shall be downcast of countenance. And pain shall seize them when they see that son of man sitting on the throne of his glory. And the kings and the mighty and all who possess the earth shall bless and glorify and extol him who rules over all who was hidden. For from the beginning the Son of Man was hidden. And the Most High preserved him in the presence of his might and revealed him to the elect. And the congregation of the elect and holy shall be sown. And all the elect shall stand before him on that day. And all the kings and the mighty and the exalted and those who rule the earth shall fall down before him on their faces and worship and set their hope upon that Son of Man and petition him and supplicate for mercy at his hands. Nevertheless, Yahuwah's spirits will so press them that they shall hastily go forth from his presence And their faces shall be filled with shame. And the darkness grow deeper on their faces. And he will deliver them to the angels for punishment. To execute vengeance on them because they have oppressed his children and his elect. And they shall be a spectacle for the righteous and for his elect. They shall rejoice over them. Because the wrath of Yahuwah of spirits rested upon them. And his sword is drunk with their blood. And the righteous and elect shall be saved on that day. And they shall never thenceforward see the face of the sinners and unrighteous. And Yahuwah's spirits will abide over them. And with that son of man shall they eat and lie down and rise up forever and ever. And the righteous and elect shall have risen from the earth and cease to be of downcast countenance. And they shall have been clothed with garments of glory. And these shall be the garments of life from Yahuwah's spirits, and your garments shall not grow old, nor your glory pass away before Yahuwah of spirits. Yahushua in the book of Enoch. Chapter 69, verses 26 through 29. And there was great joy amongst them, and they blessed and glorified and extolled, because the name of that Son of Man had been revealed unto them. And he sat on the throne of his glory. 
and the sum of judgment was given unto the Son of Man. And he caused the sinners to pass away and be destroyed from off the face of the earth. And those who have led the world astray with chains shall they be bound. And in their assemblage, place of destruction shall they be imprisoned. And all their works vanish from the face of the earth. And from henceforth there shall be nothing corruptible, for that Son of Man has appeared and has seated himself on the throne of his glory. And all evil shall pass away before his face. Joshua in the book of Enoch, chapter 71. And it came to pass after this that my spirit was translated, and it ascended into the heavens, and I saw the holy ones of God. They were stepping on flames of fire. Their garments were white, and their raiment and their faces shone like snow. And I saw two streams of fire, and the light of that fire shone like hyacinth. And I fell on my face before Yahuwah of spirits. And the angel Michael, one of the archangels, seized me by my right hand and lifted me up and led me forth into all the secrets. And he showed me all the secrets of righteousness. And he showed me all the secrets of the ends of the heaven and all the chambers of all the stars and all the luminaries whence they proceed before the face of the Holy Ones. And he translated my spirit into the heaven of heavens. And I saw there as it were a structure built of crystals, and between those crystals tongues of living fire. And my spirit saw the girdle which girt that house of fire, and on its four sides were streams full of living fire, and they girt that house. And round about were seraphim, cherubim, and ophanim, and these are they who sleep not and God the throne of his glory. And I saw angels who could not be counted a thousand, thousands and ten thousand times ten thousand encircling that house. And Michael and Raphael and Gabriel and Fenuel and the holy angels who are above the heavens go in and out of that house. And they came forth from that house and Michael and Gabriel, Raphael and Fenuel and many holy angels without number. And with them the head of days, his head white and pure as wool and his raiment indescribable. And I fell on my face and my whole body became relaxed and my spirit was transfigured. And I cried with a loud voice with the spirit of power and blessed and and glorified and extolled. And these blessings which went forth out of my mouth were well pleasing before the that head of days. And that head of days came with Michael and Gabriel, Raphael and Fenuel, thousands and ten thousands of angels without number. And he, the angel, i.e. angel, came to me and greeted me with his voice and said unto me, This is the Son of Man who is born unto righteousness, and righteousness abides over him. And the righteousness of the head of days forsakes him not. And he said unto me, He proclaims unto thee peace in the name of the world to come. For from hence has proceeded peace since the creation of the world. And so shall it be unto thee forever forever and ever. And all shall walk in his ways since righteousness never forsake him. With him will be their dwelling places and with him their heritage. And they shall not be separated from him forever and ever and ever. And so there shall be length of days with that Son of Man, and the righteous shall have peace and an upright way in the name of Yahuwah's spirits forever.